So, um, Zephi, I'm trusting you to to talk out of. You know, you don't have so much experience. You, you, have, you have had only one or two boyfriend experience. The only one you are you cheated in the DSC. You have experience with with us and money. Okay, but if the world says no and you say yes, it can happen. If the world says yes and you say no, it can't happen. Once again, a gentle reminder that you can be just anything. 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 Just anything. As long as your heart, your body, your soul, your spirit, your energy, your vibe, your resources, your understanding, everything you own, get ready to make it work. You can be just anything. 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 And so I want to welcome you to another very special episode of Rhythm Inspiration on my 3.7 FM Benin City. My name is King Jolari. A lot of people call me Mr. Common Sense because I bring sense to giving you standard living. And I'm not here alone this time. I'm privileged to be having the two runaway um, co-hosts I have, I have always had. And so last week, a necessity came up on them that both of them needed to save <laughs> some form of punishment. <laughs> but you know who I am. I will forgive them. I have forgiven them. You will not hear their voice now because their mic is still muted. And so they decide to argue with me to remain muted for the rest of the show. I'm not a bad person. Safin in the building. Yeah, my Naya. You know we say nobody is good except the one that the Lord said is good. Good <laughs> uh, evening, everybody. Try not to just finish this young one sitting beside me, anyways. But we are praying for him. Pray do not do the bad thing. Amen. Amen. Good evening. I've come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Okay. Um, Safin had a break from the show last week, and last week, why should first break? Um, since the beginning of the show, oh, I think really? that's it, it pained no, no, as it pained not finally, but me, I, I, uh -huh. I, I don't forget to still show myself, eh? I was still available in another way. Oh. All right, also on the show, we have um, the newest kid on the block. Uh, she's getting old already on the show, <laughs> but then she's still the newest kid. Ladies and gentlemen, our very own Grace. Grace, how far Grace, good evening. Grace, Grace talk on the microphone. Grace, 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 Grace. Good evening, everybody. Okay, I think it's getting better. You will get there. <laughs> Grace, Grace, say something. Are you trying to punish me? Good evening. Uh, yeah, someone wanted to shout today. That's good. Say it again. Good evening. Don't have to say it again. Good evening. Don't you finish you. All right, uh, Grace is in the building, and then we've got Serphine. Uh, they, they, they took a break last week to have some good time, and then to retrospect on the previous episodes of the show, and they prepare for the, uh, the new ones we're about to begin with. Um, but anyway, I want to trust that we're ready for today. And it's now time for the discussion for today on the show with inspiration. On 93.7 FM, Redeem FM Benin. Today on the show, or just before we begin to discuss um, what we have for you today, last week on the show, we spoke about, um, okay, we revived the need for us to um, continue the love and sharing of good even at this time. And then I think I shared briefly on wh why we should continue to give love and then in what ways we can also offer love to people. And of course, we'll listen to a few of us share uh, how much of inspiration and good we've been doing to people around us, um, even in this lockdown season. So so today we are, discuss we are taking love a bit further, and we are discussing how to build intimacy in your relationship, even in this lockdown. It's a lockdown season, so our topics must definitely the way Grace is angry with me since I gave this topic, I don't know why. Grace, what's the problem? Um, wait, uh, um, just let me know. Is it building or strengthening? Which one are we talking about? <laughs> I don't understand. I can't which one? Kind of which like this kind of time? This which kind of which one did you restart? Open you to? She's scared. 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 She's
Grace actually lacks experience in this area, so she has to do a lot of questioning. Oh, is it every time that you just carry somebody and put in the Yeah, she doesn't have experience. Uh, Grace, are you not sincere? Do you have experience? I don't. You don't? Okay, good. So, Grace, Grace does not have experience in this area, so she needs to go do research and all that. So, part of the thing is that she needed to be clear of the question exactly so that she will be thrown off balance. <laughs> So that you have to ask After this show, please go and uh, go and equip yourself with experience. Education alone, what this Google cannot help you. Please go and test love. Leave me like After you have heard us today, you will go and me. test. I'm actually like in love. I'm utterly in love right we now. Too, with Jesus. Of course. <laughs> Jesus is occupied. There are too many. Uh -huh. uh, stay away. Uh -huh. All right. Quickly, we'll be discussing how to strengthen. I think um, I'll go with how to strengthen your relationship. Or the intimacy in your relationship and so we are looking at it from the angle of now that families are home or people are virtually not working or those that are working are not working um full day a few of us are just um doing skeletal services or those of us that have our businesses and then we are not we're not rendering quite essential services and um, for people we've been asked to stay home and then give support um, to government in fighting the pandemic but what exactly should we do even in this season and then I'll, I'll say this as a foundation before i allow um, the um, amazing grace and um, the expert Sefini hey. to share hey. <laughs> the details hmm. that they have quickly before you say anything about building a relationship or strengthening a relationship that you have the first thing you must understand like someone will say uh, somebody said one time that what are you bringing to the table? But do you know I discovered that beyond just asking people to bring something to the table, the first thing you must know is was that table designed for you? That's very important. Okay. Yes. You see, before you start looking for what to bring to the table, before you'll be appreciated um, for bringing anything to a table, okay. first recognize that that table was designed for you. No matter what you do, uh, um, on a table that wasn't designed for you, you are likely not going to be appreciated. Wow. So the efforts most of us are putting into our relationship, the efforts most of us are putting into our marriages, the efforts most of us are putting into our unions, if indeed uh, these efforts are being reciprocated by our partners, our relationship would be the talk of the town, and be the Eldorado or the peak or the Lionel Messi and Christian Ronaldo of relationships. But because the table wasn't designed for us primarily, we are just struggling. Someone said in parables that if you dance on a rock for a man that doesn't like you, he will still accuse you of splashing water on him. And then look at the gimmicks. There is no water on the rock. But because he doesn't like you, you are splashing water. Whatever you do in the house of the man that doesn't like you is a threat to his own peace of mind, sanity and security. He's going to throw you out. But when you are appreciated, when the table was designed for you, when the relationship was naturally built for someone like you to function in, you are likely going to get some form of respite, some hope, some love, some smiles. The things you are fighting to do, now you know very many of us as Christians, our pastors are the one passionate relationship. Our mother, I know people that will say, I will tell my mommy for you. It's serious. Yeah. Their mother have to talk to their boyfriends or their girlfriends, their elder sister when they offend. And you know what? I begin to wonder. That table wasn't meant for you. If you cook a delicious meal on a wrong table, it will be thrown at your face. You'll be told as though you don't know how to cook. And there'll be too much salt. There'll be too much pepper. Too much but, of yeah, too much of everything. <laughs> but if that relationship was actually meant for you, or the table was designed to accommodate you, even when you make mistakes in the kitchen, it will be appreciated. So now, the first question. Was that table designed for you? I'll stop here, Joe. Let me allow the experience of... <laughs> Grace and Sephine to share. Remember that we are going to have time to talk about our relationship and then if you've got a relationship issue you want us to talk about as we, uh, we're going to have time for us to discuss it. But we just want to um, enlighten us a bit and share a few insights. Grace, what should, what should, what should, what should, what should couples, um, boyfriend, girlfriends, um, husband, wife, what should they be doing this season? Right. Nah, yes. Friends, yes, of course. Besties, the bestie goes. I know that's all you have now, bestie. But God will help you. I will pray for you after the show. <laughs> I don't need your friends. All right, so. Oh, uh, well, um, let's start with um, what is intimacy? So I would like to, I say, just talk briefly about what intimacy is. 
So, intimacy is um, closeness or simply connection that you share with someone. That um, feeling of at home, or should I say, undivided attention. Undivided attention, connection, closeness that you share with someone makes you feel at home. Now, ways we can strengthen intimacy. I would say the first one is um, communication. And Mr. Common Sense will say, in your communication should be, there should be honesty. It should be honest. Very, very important. Very. If there's no honesty, you are not communicating at all. Um, well, it's advised that you talk as much as possible. You know, bear your heart. Talk about your fears, your insecurities, your differences. Now, when you, in trying to establish intimacy or strengthen the one you have already, if you don't communicate properly and you know that building that connection when you're talking being honest about how you feel i read um uh should i say a psychologist or a therapist i read this post about her on instagram where she shared the four types of intimacy i said emotional intimacy physical intimacy it's spiritual intimacy and mental intimacy. Now, when you're communicating with someone, that emotional intimacy should be there. It's a kind of feeling. How do you, how does this person connect with your feeling, your emotions, what you feel inside of you? Is there a connection between the two of you? That is that is the basis of intimacy. If in your communication you're, you're not able to establish that um, emotion, that thing that connects the two of you to each other, that makes you compatible, it's important that you, you know, develop that or make that be a foundation of when you're talking about strengthening intimacy. And also, trust. Building or strengthening intimacy, you should consider trust how much do you trust this person with the things you want to tell them or the things you want to discuss um uh, someone will say you should there's a level you should get to before you can share your past or your secrets with someone but me i believe that if you want to strengthen your intimacy sharing those things that you know makes you vulnerable or fragile is an even more speedy way or fast way to you know strengthen into why you why are you claiming your shit? Do you do you know? <laughs> go ahead? Wait, wait, you wait. have this experience with Jesus. This is a disclaimer. I'm saying there's no problem. I do have experience. I mean, this is happening all around. I should be able to dig deals or yeah. talk about things yes, that yes. happen around from yes, you yeah. know from people reading about you, it yeah. you just, but, but you have not tasted it yeah, and you, you are sharing control. you are sharing what you have not yeah, tasted God. go ahead let's <laughs> leave her let's leave her so yeah trust is important if you can trust this person with those things that make you vulnerable and fragile you know you're scared of telling someone else you know that's why we have besties or we say this person is my close friend if you are, if you've been friends with someone for seven years, or you say this this is someone I've been friends with from childhood, there are certain things this person know about you that maybe your parents does not even know. Mm. And so, if you want to share this kind of thing with your partner, then yeah, that is one big way or an even faster way to strengthen intimacy. Hold on, uh, I will come back to you. Uh... I, 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 something you just said now, I would have loved to ask you, but because you don't have so much experience, I would love to ask Sefi. <laughs> Sefi, um, she just spoke about um, communication, trust, I should leave her alone. You two, Sorry. don't let me attack you. How many, how many years experience chest, you have? I have chest to chest to hold. <laughs> well, leave my grace. Do you agree with that? What do you think um, 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 friends, couples, um, 
beyond what she has said, she should okay. also be looking out for this period very quickly. What they should be looking out for this period? Yes, okay. what, what they should be looking out for to building the intimacy. You know she's been talking, she's defined <laughs> intimacy. Uh, I wonder how she knows that definition. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, I think um, one of the things to pay attention to build intimacy is understanding um, the pr understanding like anything like this, understanding body languages. Wow. A lot of times we're in a hurry to because you know uh, supposed to go out, we forget to trash some issues, we forget to pay attention to some statements, some behaviors, some you know comments, some facial expressions. Mm. So this is the time to actually pay attention to those details. Mm. and you know interpret them properly mm. talk about what you don't understand you know try to um, understand that um you're now with this person and you, ha and you have time in this person so use the time to know the person as much as possible mm. you know so it, it's a time that you want to um, identify what the person's really like there are sometimes that um we do things for people and we feel we're doing them a favor but it's hurting them and they don't want to hurt you because they know it's giving you joy to do it for them. So they can't mm. ask you to stop. So everybody's um, everybody's stuck in you know where they're not supposed to be. Well, it's, it's an opportunity to um, study this person that you're with, and you know understand what the person you know is really about. Okay, everybody is a little free this period. So all the all the being busy, the person's actually now you have the time. That's what you do your time to actually mm. do. You know, so I feel like this is a time where you pay attention to as much details as That's possible. 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 Don't allow any. It's not. It's not. It's not really a time to assume or conclude. It's a time for you to sit down and watch mm -hmm. and open, have an open mind to interpret everything you see in this person. Now, this is not just um, uh, when it comes to marriage relationships. It's, it's, it's as it's, it's as serious as your relationship with your siblings. With your friend, with people that you are in the same space with, <clears throat> understanding them is very important. So you'll be able to understand, you know, why they act the way they do. Some people are just harsh and, you know, um, aggressive, not because they actually mean to be wicked. They may just be needing love, mm. you know, so they may just have something on their chest mm -hmm. that's wrong with them. Mm -hmm. And we all feel like, they, you know, this is this person is this bad or this person is not like this but if you pay attention to this person and study this person you'll understand that this person just needed love and everybody understands the language of love so when you press the love, love button you say the person is a new person so it's a period where you should look out for understanding um, um people and actually relationships work and thrive better when there is a high level of understanding so when somebody say, someone says something you understand that you know that the person does not mean evil i used to have a student in our seven then this girl was she was a very wonderful person, but if she talks to you, you want to slap her. Mm. Very arrogant. One day I looked at her, I told her, I said, happiness, you are not a rude person. She said, no, I said, I know you are not rude. That's how you talk. Mm. She said, yes. <laughs> she said, uh, she was arguing with you. I can imagine. That's how she, that's <laughs> that's how she how talks. Talk that's how you talk. You talk. I had to spell it to her. I, I had to use different mouths to tell her that you talk like a fighter, mm. like a garage person. Did but you are not rude. Though. Did you pain that? Mm. She was like, but I said, yes, that's what comes out of you. But I know you don't mean to be rude. Mm. That understanding alone helps both of us. She became a different person. And a lot of people, are, she now consciously knew that, okay, this is what I expel. So she has to start working on it. Me too. I also had the ability, was able to now accommodate areas where she would say something or do something that I feel like, like, what's wrong with you? You know? And I know that, okay, no, she doesn't mean it this way. So both of us were able to relate to each other and we became best of friends. And everybody that felt they didn't like the girl because she was very arrogant understood now because someone was able to identify that this is not who she really is. That's how she that's how she grew up or whatever is responsible for that behavior. So I feel like understanding now understanding people and understanding why they act the way they they do, this period is something that we should is a, is a is an asset. It's something that we need to pay attention to, mm. particularly for ourselves and for the other person. So you'll not be able to identify that this person may actually be toxic. You may not know. You may not have known that there's a, if you're in a particular... You know, they say there's a difference between relationship and situation. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know? Particular so, situationship. Yeah. Exactly. So now you'll be able to identify that, okay, okay, this is not relationship. This is situationship. Yeah. You know? Okay, this is not relationship. This is a... This is a situation mm. whereby this person is close to me because of A, B, C. 
Yeah. Now you're able to now you are now able to identify the reason why some relationships in your life exist. Yeah. Some relationship exists. I mean that's some kind of relationships you have with people that it, it was when you were able to offer them something that the relationship was thriving. Mm. The moment you were you were unable to do that, or the person didn't have need for you anymore, for some reason, the relationship strains. So now you're able to it identify is, um, Grace Take Baron and Paper be writing these things and to help you in future. <laughs> oh, you are just oh. looking. You just have to call this lecture. <laughs> just have to call <laughs> it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it. But another thing. Hold on one minute, okay. uh, Grace. I was going to get back to you um, quickly. This season, um, with all the stories about um, loneliness and support and all the burden and um, the trauma associated with all this season, if you find out that a relationship is a situation ship, as um, <laughs> Sephine has put it, would you be confident enough to walk away? And then put it, or oh, you just wait for the lockdown to be over so you can finally lock that relationship down. <laughs> um, it's already bad enough. You said for me, oh, please. Yo, go ahead, go me. ahead. <laughs> I know what you want now. to do. <laughs> it's already bad enough that I find myself in this situation and I'm locked down at home. Mm. And and then you want to add to... No, you're not adding. Yes, it yeah. seems with, with this time that you have spent personally, you are realizing, so. you're able to understand or recognize that there is a challenge fundamentally with your relationship. And then would you advise the person, you or the person, to say, step aside and then, or hold on after this is you can step aside. Stepping aside now and later, what's the difference? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, 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 just uh, do it now. Oh, do, 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 do you know? Do you know what is involved in the relationship? <laughs> Where is <laughs> question even even coming from? I don't get it. Alright, second, let me get back. I got back to you. Second, let me get back to you. You, you, you spoke about um, situationship, people understanding, and all that. Okay. But there are people that that does is ah. Uh, we understand. Um, we know, of course. We understand ourselves. But there are still challenges. Um, here and there in the relationship. Are there other elements that uh, people need to also watch out for beyond just understanding the scope, the fundamentals, the situation, the direction of your relationship? I think you should also identify your own tolerance level. Okay. There are some things that, there are some people that have a, trust, a very strong threshold for pressure. Fine. But if you know that you don't have, just identify the level at which you can tolerate the leverage you can take. So you now understand a particular um, situation, understand your stand in someone's life, or you understand how this relationship is. So as much as now you understand, but it's not good for you. But you now understand what is happening, and you're able to identify that, okay, this issue is a serious issue. It's not for you to identify whether you can deal or not. Mm -hmm. If you can deal with it, carry stamina, drink glucose, and carry the cross <laughs> very mm -hmm. well. If you know you can't deal, you, that your back is going to break eventually, just gently do something about it okay. before it breaks you or something happens like it and something happens to you. Right. Um, Grace, back to you. Um, I, I think I think Stephanie has said so much. But is there something else we should also, uh, people should also take cognizance of? People should... Um, um, recognize and implement this season. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, making couple time. You mm -hmm. know, okay, with um, I stay in a company with like a couple of couples. Mm -hmm. Now, if we are at home, we're giving lockdown. you inspiration. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, it's it's locked down, and everyone feel okay. We're at home already, so. But some people are not actually making time mm. for themselves. They get busy with um, if those that work from home, they get busy with work. They have kids, they have chores. And before you know it, it's night already. And then I notice that this lady is always outside. She's doing one thing or the other. And I was beginning to wonder when, when do when they do have time? time night, you know? night. <laughs> they have time and you can, some, someone said one comedian 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 should be careful that you will never see a couple hug you never see them kiss or peck publicly but they, but have, they have children, children. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is really happening which miracle god is doing all these things yeah. so yeah. When, when we're talking of making couple time yeah, tangible time mm -hmm. enough time 
and this time you can do a lot of things. Obviously, you're a sucker for good time, right? Yes, good time. Mm -hmm. I'm with I know you. Your, love your, your husband will enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so, when oh in this couple time that you're having, mm -hmm. have um, play. Mm -hmm. It's a good time to play. You shouldn't be and there should be no play. restriction to the kind of play you want to play. At the play point, then what time do we have for each other? What time? Even in your busy schedule or schedule as the case may be, whatever it is, if somebody is important to you, you will always make out time to be with them. I've said this yes, time so. to people times down now. Yeah. Nobody, nobody on planet Earth will not give attention. To, and I, I, I think I made a joke of this one time. The, the definition of busy is actually that I don't have your own time. That's what busy is. Nobody's actually too busy for the one that they love and cherish. Yeah, yeah, when true. that person is giving you the perspective of being busy, the person has gotten time for somebody else. I, I mean, or I know that there are yes, something. Else. I mean, there are people who are quite very busy. And, but you see, if the person really have you at heart, the person will. So I was going to ask you, what other things should couples, um, um, people in rela fruitful relationship, productive ones? Not the ones that you both of you know you are wasting <laughs> each other's time. <laughs> we, we are going to come back to the our audience uh, today we'll be discussing or we'll be asking them what are the things that are uh, stumbling blocks for intimacy in relationship what are the the things that looks like not making in intimacy grows or being strengthened okay. so that's what we we'll be asking our audience but that why would we need to wait for them we want to be able to give the solutions first okay. um, beforehand what other things okay. have we not mentioned that you think we should look at okay another thing that people could be doing is identify your common interests now what are the things that you mutually like what are the things that you you both of you mutually fancy what are the things that you what are the things that you mutually um have interest in so at the end of the, the day when you um i like this particular game and you like the same game right so it's easy for us to bond while playing that game together you know, so now we're able to identify what we both like and what we can. So on, when, it means that we we can meet on that page and have a very wonderful time with each other. Okay. Then another thing we should do, we should also look out for is as much as we are looking at areas where we can bond um um on on seriously mm. informally, we should also look at it on the other area. We also have important parts of our lives. So we both have dreams. We both have um, goals. We both have things that we want to achieve. So we could actually sit together, talk about them, look at them together, and and um, share how we can actually help each other to either achieve, you know, um, A's goals or both of you's goals together. Yeah. You know, so it's the time to say, okay, no, this one is important. Okay, this one is not that important. Okay, no, how, well, how about to do it like this? Okay, can we get help? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Grace was talking about somebody who, who felt he was not um, having, as soon as she said that, I just, next thing that came to my mind is, they should get help. Yes, they should. Two types of help. Help of someone who will tell them what to do. And the help of someone else who will take all the um, weight that is on, on her. Yeah. So it's very possible that he... I, I also think the husband too, the, the husband is really sincere, should make her time to help the lady. Exactly. Because the woman so is getting not, drained. Exactly. Yes. So they need, that's what I said, they need two types of help. This one that's going to help, um, help reduce the stress. Mm -hmm. And someone who's going to actually tell them how to make their relationship better. It's possible that he himself is clueless on how to help her. Mm -hmm. No matter how much of, um, no matter how much I'm angry at you, if I'm trying to clean this place up and you join me to clean it, we'll talk. True. No matter how angry I am, no matter how much I don't want to talk to you, we'll talk. Even if I'm telling you to get out, we're talking. Right? That's, that's so, fact. Yes. So even if I'm telling you, I beg, I don't want you in your space, just leave this place, we're talking. Even if I, I decide in my heart that, okay, he'll just do what he wants to do and I'll do what I want to do. I'm not going to talk to him. I'll get to the point and I'll say, excuse me. Hmm. I'll get to the point and I'll say, pass me that. Whether you like it or not, there, there has to be a form of conversation. So I feel like you should be able to identify what your problems really are and know how to get help. You know, and it's very, it's, it's usually very interesting when you can get help together. So now I'm able to identify what role I'm to play, and you're able to identify what role you are to play, and we're able, to, we're going to um, be able to come together and make our lives better because we're able to seek help now. Because a lot of problems we have around um, society today is the fact that you have two people or several people in a particular um, relationship or in a particular space, and one person is taking the initiative to step up, and the other person is just behind. 
And by the time the other person is up there and the other person is at the back, they, there's already a strain, there's already friction, there's already a problem. Communication becomes difficult. But we're not all communicating on the same level. Yeah. So at the end of the day, as much as um, it's important to um, yeah, as much as it's important to, to bond on a serious you know level, sorry, on, on the playful level, we should also bond on a serious level so that after play when the serious issues of life hits you you should be able to you'll be able to have something to fall back on all right uh we're going to get back now uh, i'm sure we are done with our inner discussions except if there's any need for us to look back at something retrospectively but what to take a song and this is one of my best uh um, song from one of my um beloved um, nigerian art his name is cheeky and this song is titled out of love look at it listen very carefully um, the subject of discussion today has got his huge, huge, huge influence on this song. When we come back, we'll open the phone lines. Don't forget, it's 0809 345 We'll be discussing what are the challenges with building intimacy or strengthening intimacy in our relationship. Just go down and we'll get to you shortly. It's an amazing time. So now we'll be discussing intimacy or, or how to strengthen your intimacy in your relationship, marriage, or human union. As, and then Grace and Sephine, as we give, we're telling Sephine backstage that, man, I, I take back the fact that she doesn't have experience. You've got, <laughs> you've got hidden potential. You know, someone said recently that, uh, you know, just the way you see inner beauty of a lady, you are not seeing it, but the person know they say beauty. That's how there is, there is also inner money of a guy. You are not oh seeing God. the money, but the guy knows oh that he has God. money. Grace, I'm seeing inner potentials of love <laughs> go and manifest. <laughs> All right, it's time to hear from you. What are the challenges that are bedeviling um, intimacy in relationship? What are those things that you have noticed? People are calling. People, relationship is a hot topic. I will just have 10 minutes to do this. So please, you have just 60 seconds. Be brief and be straight to the point as you can. Hello, welcome to the show. Hello. I know I can hear you. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Arthur Tarim. Okay. Good evening. Good I'm evening. Calling from Ogida. Here in Benin City. Oh, okay. welcome, sir. Welcome. It, 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 yes, I want to contribute to the program. All right. I'm talking about the, the challenges in a relationship. Yeah. What can I call it? The intimacy between husband and wife. Okay. Yes. I, I hope I'm I'm in order. Yes. Yes, yes you can. You are. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I want to say here that uh, uh, the relationship, marriage, is something that has to do with a continual assessment. It's something that has to do with continual assessment. It's something that has to do with tolerance. It's something that has to do with doing acceptance. Because if the, the couple are not perfect, they need. I hope you can get me a look. We can. Yes, it's touching a bit, but we, but we yes. are with you. Hello? Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, it's something that has to do with acceptance, tolerance. Uh, before the two came together, there are some certain things that uh, two of them are going to do it together. They are from, the, they are from different uh, backgrounds, different personality and all that. So they need to accept themselves from time to time. Accept themselves. A friend of mine used to say that it's a continual assessment. You need to accept what the other person is. And as you go on like that, it becomes perfect, more and more perfect from day to day. I think that is what I want to say about them. Okay. What can encourage intimacy okay. between okay. the married couple? Okay. Thank you so much, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me see here, please, that we did our best to share um, what should encourage, what you could implement. What we actually want from you, I didn't want to stop in um, the first caller. It's the challenges. And so maybe you'll be able to just share with us um, okay, what, the, your yeah, what your are. challenges are. Okay. And then if just in case you're not in a relationship, or you're not married, you don't have a particular challenge, but you also notice um, some challenges with other relationships uh, around or you. Or a particular trend. Yeah, yeah, particular beauty, a particular trend that you want us to look into. If if, if it needs us to give insight, we, we may be able, um, even right now or maybe after the show, but so you could call the number to call once again 0809 345 3895 and also you could send um whatsapp message to that number and then just in case you can reach us um you can reach us on phone 
online will be able to talk to you on WhatsApp. We have a call now already. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, my name is Jason. Good evening. Uh, Say that again, please. My name is Jason from New Benin. Okay, Jason from New Benin. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. person is noting or seeing the effort you are putting into building the relationship yes, or straightening yes, the, the bond and they, what whenever you do any um, form of um, assistance to anybody outside she she's yes, she takes advantage or she's angry hmm. yes, you said she will be angry yes you know, not that she will be angry she sees that I don't animally support her but when I ask her for something she always feels Oh, so it's, it's easier for her to take from you, and not but it's difficult for her to that. give. Yes, yes, yes. And she takes advantage of the fact. <laughs> and she takes advantage of the fact that you always do it for her, yeah. and she uses an opportunity to just take as much as she can. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. Stay back or maybe Stephen. Her, uh, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. Why are you calling my name? Okay, first of all, I'm a believer of if you want to do something for someone, do it because it's the right thing to do. If you want to help someone, help someone because it's the right thing to do. Now, if you do this because you feel and you know that it's the right thing to do, irrespective of how the person takes it. Yeah. So I I you are in need and I decide to help you. Honestly, I shouldn't expect anything from you. I should be able to just give it to you, true, right? True. Now, if I'm giving to you or you are doing a favor for someone and the person does not appreciate it, right? Because from this situation, I, I can say that it's a selfish or is a mm -hmm. what do you call it now? A parasitic mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah, yeah. So in this particular parasitic relationship, you discover that some people when Jesus Christ gave his blood. For people just onto a particular course. Yeah. Now Jesus Christ has done that work. <laughs> you understand? Don't re don't repeat it. If the person who's looking for who to die for the person, especially you should fix his eyes or her eyes on the cross, not you. Now you if if you if someone is if you're in a relationship, the other one is what they call situation. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If you're in a relationship with someone who finds it easy to take from you, he just said she can take your last cash and not feel anything. In other words, if you're going to die. She, she can just still be petting you though mm. and still collect it from mm. you. My brother, run for your life. It's true now. What? Yes, run for your life. If you want to do the person a favor, do the person the favor because it's the right thing to do. But don't do it to the point yeah. where you will now lose yourself. Yeah. Don't do the point where you will now be at a huge disadvantage because you want to help someone. Don't do it because at the end of the day, you feel bad for yourself. If you want to give, if you want to make sacrifices, make the kind of sacrifices that when that things go south, not it's worth, you will still be okay. There is nothing, you will not have any regrets, you won't have anything to say, oh, you know, I left this, I have lost on this ground. Mm -hmm. I think that's all about, most importantly, I think we should look out for ourselves. Because they said there's only someone, when you're in an aircraft and about to crash, give yourself oxygen first. Yeah, before, before you be able yeah. to, so you have enough strength and oxygen to save everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. But if you lose yourself in trying to save someone, guess what? You will die and the person will move on yeah. to someone else. Okay, so. very clear. I think you've said it. Uh, relationship, um, two persons, um, person is single, uh, same purpose. Um, same vision, sometimes same um, interest. And yeah. So, if you are not in a relationship and then you're the only person giving, 
it's it's very very dangerous and then remember that giving should not just be in money sometimes services are not giving money because they are giving you so much time and energy and resources but if you, if you know that you're not getting as much as you're giving discuss with the person see the person and talk if talking is not working then bye -bye. um time is up we would not yeah, be able yeah. to um take another call but trust me uh, we have an opening now on twitter uh before we leave the studio we will make um a tweet on our official twitter handle with him fmb name and then just in case you want to drop your thoughts and comments please drop it under the tweet we would take the conversation from there next week we want to stretch this up a bit to next week and then maybe in the beginning point of our next conversation we'll take your thoughts and reaction on this um you could decide to discuss um the challenges um facing intimacy or you may also want to also talk about um but again, the um, the benefit or the things that can also help to strengthen uh, intimacy in relationship. Our time is up, and the man is already telling us to like, pack out and leave the studio. So the, <laughs> or should, so the gentleman, but when it comes to his time on radio, he says, "Can you please get out?" <laughs> All right, uh, Grace, what's your final words to couple uh, people in relationship this season? Um, first of all, I want to just stress on two things. Not stress actually, but one. To strengthen your intimacy, reminisce on where you started from, where it all began for you. It's very important if you can, you know, talk about those things that you were doing at first that endeared this person to you, and the person is not doing it now again. You know, but trust that point. Make sure you're always talking about those things you feel is leaving out. And lastly, be friends. The partner should be your ultimate friend your best friend your closest mm -hmm. friend your just be friends you know what friends do that should be what you should be all right Sephine please don't stress just say <laughs> <laughs> okay relationship is a very sweet and interesting thing um I I have a very wonderful relationship with people around me with my family with my friends and all of that it's very wonderful but at all costs try to make your relationship work try to make your relationship better if you have done all to make this relationship better, no matter who it is, even if it's your blood brother, you have tried to make this relationship better. You have tried to make um, to, to create a better version of you and the other person, and it is not working. Please take a walk. Thank you. All right, they have said it all. I would like to take my leave. We would share our social media platforms on the tweet on um, Twitter, official Twitter handle. From, the, from all of us, see you next week, Sunday, 6 to 7 p.m. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Let me say bye last week. <laughs>